one. Hey, hey, what's going on, everybody? We are here. We are at Music Industry Makeover Live. That's right. We are here. And we thank you so much for allowing us to be a part of your Thursday night again. And we just want to um, ask y'all to go ahead on and spread the word and tell folks about us. This is what's going on. This is what, this is what we're doing. We are on, and we got some great topics, and we're going to take all your questions and comments. I'm DJ Ronnie Ron. We got Miss Samoa. Henry, what's going on? Samoa, talk to him. Hey, how's everybody doing? I'm back. <laughs> yes, glad to have you back. Yeah, that's right, yeah, because you were here last week, right? Yeah. She was that's out. Right. She was out. She was we out. Was out. I just wasn't on camera, but I was participating in the chat room. <laughs> we got our partner back with us. She's back with yes. us. She's back. Praise the Lord. Hallelujah. Yes. Awesome. Yes. And we've got Mr. Rico Gibson in the house. What's going on, man? brother? Glad to be here for another Thursday, another Thursday. Man, we got some great topics, man. It's going it's to be, uh, be interesting. It's going to be interesting. Yes. Yes, it is. Exactly. And so, um, you know, you all get prepared, you know, tell tell your friends and things like that, those who are in the industry. And then also, um, I, want, um, uh, I, I want to give a shout out for sure, to um, uh, Daryl Gordon. All right, this show is being brought to you by Daryl Gordon. Uh, uh, and please forgive me because I'm, I'm going I'm going to get your information or so. But uh, he's having a, a hip hop concert in Winston Salem. All right, and it's going to be an awesome time. That's happening in September, so we'll be announcing that throughout. And so, in, in, and if you're interested in wanting to be a, a sponsor for. Um, the music industry makeover. So feel free to contact us. All right, because we are, we, we we would love to help push your business. Or if you you know you you being an artist or so like that, um, yes, we could definitely push that for you as well too. Okay, so uh, it's the fourth it's it's the fourth annual gospel hip, holy hip um hip hop showcase, or, or or fourth annual gospel hip hop showcase for giving Friday September twenty seventh in Winston Salem. Word of Truth International Life Center, Center in Worcester Salem. So those who are in the North Carolina area, or so hey, um, that definitely you want to be a part of that September twenty seventh. All right, hey, what's going on, Jason? How you doing, what's son up, G? You, you, yes, yes, and Kevin James in the house. What's going on, Kevin James? Glad glad to have you. Hey, Kevin. Yeah, man, we don't talk as much as we used to. What's up, cousin? How you doing, hey, Nicole? Yeah, man, and uh. Say Mary. Hey, Mary. Mary, up, how you doing? Mary, Mary. Yes, yes. And uh, also, the show being brought to you by MikeGZMusic.com. MikeGZMusic.com. You need to go and check that out. All right. A hey, artist is doing some great things. And, great uh, and you, uh, you're going to be hearing a lot from him. All right. As well as Nemesilla Park. Nemesilla Park, This the album. Uh, I mean, the single is out. Welcome to Nashville. Just in time for football season, go go Dolphins and things, and uh, yeah, hey, we're gonna <laughs> represent. <laughs> you know, hey, gotta, gotta, gotta get that in, man. Gotta, gotta get, get that in, man. Gotta get Wall it in. Yeah. 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 yeah, 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 yeah. When it comes to comes to the pros, now when it comes to college, about them hurricanes, baby, all about the U. Yes, <laughs> yes, but yes. What's going on out in the out in hood of Nemesilla Park? Thank God What's for around? him. Yes, What's representing on, those Titans, Tennessee Titans. Welcome to Nashville. So go check it out, Nemesilla Park. Yeah, that's the second time you're talking about some Tennessee Titans and some Miami Dolphins. It's a lot of Titans, baby. A lot of Titans. Don't get it twisted. Well, I guess right, I should right. the teams here, huh? Yeah, Atlanta Falcons. Yeah. I heard about what another team, the Bulldogs. Is that no, baseball? that's George. No, that's college. Yeah, yeah George. Okay. I don't George know. Bulldog. George Bulldog. Yeah. You're right. That's George Bulldog. You <laughs> dead on it. That's right. Hey, hey, they produce one of the greatest fullbacks or running backs. Hey, Herschel, Herschel Walker. Herschel Walker. Yeah. That's right. That's it. So they play ball. Yeah. That's all I know. <laughs> <laughs> As I can tell Simone is not a football person. That's so, all. But uh, yeah, but we are in this football season. Hey, and, and, and we are going to get it in, definitely. All right. But uh, as I say, I, I, I mentioned those throughout the um, program or so, our sponsors or so. But again, we want to thank them so much for um, so for being on board with us. Again, spread the word, guys. All right. Yes, sir. Welcome to Nashville. <laughs> spread the word, guys. All right. Share this music industry makeover is is on. Okay. And so um, so we're going to start with um, the, our, our first topic and things. And uh, 
uh, before I can get that. Um, uh, uh, Rico, can you go ahead and start us off? Yep, I will. I'll go ahead. And so, so the first time of the night, we're going to be talking about first step in creating your brand is having your own identity. The first step in creating your brand is having your own identity. And I don't understand. You, you, you can't be afraid to be yourself. Like, that's, mm -hmm. it, that's so very important. Right. You know, I understand that we live in a world that's saturated with so many different things. And the Bible tells in Ecclesiastes uh, 3 and 1 that there's at the new under the heavens, right? Right. However, you can, you can uh, take some ideas from someone or, or, or kind of be mentored by someone, but mm -hmm. you should develop into having your own identity and being yourself. You know, that is the first thing in establishing your brand. Not looking at somebody else's logo and you creating a logo like theirs, right? right. Not listening, you know, to someone <laughs> use the same words and you mimicking their words, but, you know, you gotta, your brand is very important. Your brand represents you. And a lot of times, you want people to associate uh, great things with your brand and not necessarily have to know you as a person. I was watching a special last night on Ralph Lauren. And when I was looking at Ralph Lauren, Ralph Lauren has a lot of sales all across the, 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 the world. Like, no matter where you go, everything's associated uh, with Ralph Lauren of quality. Wow. So your brand, your brand represents you. And if you don't have your own identity, it's going to be really hard, man, for you to go for it. Simone? <laughs> <laughs> um, I'm not sure what else I can say about it. Um, I mean, that's that's pretty much it. Um, when you're when you're being you, when your brand, like Rico said, it starts with you. It starts with who you are. Um, you know, a lot of times when people talk about branding, you know, they they talk about well, what does my logo look like? What are my colors? That kind of thing. Well, yeah, those things are part of your brand, but those things are not your brand. Your brand right. is really, um, it's what, you're, what you offer, who you are, what's your personality, what you believe, what's your message, what's your story, you know, what, what's unique about you that nobody else can duplicate because it's uniquely you, you know, being, um, it's your authenticity, right? Um, mm -hmm. so, so all of that, all of that together is your brand, right? So... And because all of that together is your brand, that means that your brand is unique and you should definitely, when you want to build a solid, a solid brand, then make sure that you are accentuating what is unique about you, not what is, is the same about you and everybody else. Right. You know? right. Like I was saying before, you know, Christian musicians, a lot of people, you know, everybody's singing these songs that have kind of the same lyrics, right? He woke me up this morning, he started me on my way. Like everybody's saying that, right? But right. guess what? You're going to sing it differently from the guy down the street. <laughs> you know, you're going to sing it differently from the girl around the corner. Um, so, and, and they're, they're going to be, be people who, they're like, they're people, take us for example, there are people out there who teach the same things that we teach, right? Mm -hmm, right. But you're here because of our personalities, because of our uniqueness, right? right? You may like us better than somebody else because, just because you resonate with us a bit more. Um, that's that's, good. that's branding, you know, that's that's what makes us unique. And we're not necessarily... We, we accentuate what makes us unique, right? We, we can't really do what somebody else does. Right. Or what, and we can't be like somebody else. Um, I can't be like Rico, right? You know, he has a whole, he has a style all his own. Um, Ron has a style on his own, all his own. I can't be like them. I can, I can only be me. So you can only be you. And just because other people are singing the same kinds of things does not necessarily mean that they're the same. You are, you are, you, you are unique, you right. know, accentuate what's unique about you. That is your brand. Amen. Well said. And unfortunately we lost Rico. Uh, Rico just go in and uh, refresh or whatever, or click back on the link. 
for some reason. But um, yes, I well said. I mean, and again, you know, that's why God made us individuals. All and right, you know, there's eight billion people on this planet, but we're all different. We're all unique, and so uh, that's the problem. What I have with a lot of these uh, you know, with, with with Christian hip hop, or so you know, it's like okay, you know, you don't want to be labeled as a Christian hip hop artist because you want to be like somebody else, and and that's why. That's why we, we we have the issues that we have now because you because you don't realize your identity, all right. And so, and, and again, God made us all unique. He didn't make a square to fit inside a circle, all right. right. You know, everybody has their talent, so that's where again nobody can can be you but you better. And so, um, man, well said. Uh, we're taking all your um, questions, any comments or so. Make sure you post them on my page so that I can um. Pull them up and things just like I do with just, 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 just like I did with uh, um, a keen town here. Thanks for joining us. You know, saying and and just that um again, you know, we're here for you all, and we want you as an artist learn to be who you are. I know you hey, can don't, make, be influenced by others, but be who you are. Go ahead. And don't be don't be afraid. Like the the what I'm seeing because I know a lot of people have been seeing me posting the day, and the Lord just has really been on my heart today, man, trying to encourage everybody. We, you know, in Jesus, man, we can't be ashamed and be afraid. Right. You know what I mean? If, if you believe something, people respond to you based on your own belief and how you walk in what you believe. Mm -hmm. Like, if somebody can shake you in your faith, if somebody can throw an idea out to you and you stop, you run with the idea and you don't have a, you have, you don't have a, a thought of your own, you don't have a mind of your own, you're, you're a really weak person. Right, and I know for a fact that Jesus is not weak. He's not weak-minded. He's not unstable. He's not finicky, flaky, you know. And so, when people, when we're showing Jesus to people, people have to see you, right? And mm -hmm. a lot of times, we're the only Jesus that people are going to see. And you can't be ashamed and be afraid. You know what I mean? You can see the thing as a church. We have to learn how to love people and still don't compromise on what we believe. Right? That, right. That, if you're going to get out and you're going to be successful at doing something, you know, you can't be afraid of being you. That's the whole, and that's the whole purpose of our music service <coughs> platform here. We, we want to show you that it's okay to make money being in the kingdom. Right. You know, the Lord doesn't mind how you make money. It's a, it's a, he, the Lord doesn't, doesn't mind you making money. Right. His concern is how you make the money. Right. Right. Are you fleecing people? Yeah. Are you offering people something and taking their money and you're not giving them nothing in return? Right. right? Are you are you being That's slick not money? Right. That's not Christ like. Right. No. You know, and it, 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 it brings us to the next topic. You know, a brother a brother was in uh, on the on the on the Christian hip hop uh, uh, group chat was saying that you know. The Lord don't want us to make money, or you know, we're Christian. We're supposed to, uh, you know, because you know, we're not supposed to take money for what we're doing because we, we what we received from Jesus was free and stuff. That's the unbiblical. Thing. Sorry, I'm here, just matter fact, I even, um, here, That's here, unbiblical. here. Here, here, matter of fact, I even read it verbatim. It says getting paid to make music as a Christian doesn't make sense to me because you did nothing to deserve your position or the information you are speaking on. Let's talk scripture and go. Okay. So, straight, yeah. Straight on biblical. I'm sorry. Yeah. <laughs> the, 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 the problem with that is, you know, when the, when, 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 when the Lord said he gave us the power to attain wealth, right there right. in yeah. itself, the Lord is saying to us, he ain't got a problem with us being wealthy. The problem that the Lord has with his kids, because, see, we say everybody his kids, but then... The scripture says when Jesus was talking, he's saying, "Look, the, the, he's talking about the Father Elijah, or, or, or he was just Jesus was being distinctive when he was saying, you know, your father.' When he was talking to the Pharisees, your father. He was talking about faith. He wasn't talking about him. So there's a clear distinction on who kids belong to who, right? Your our attitude, the way we carry ourselves, what we believe, and the way we live, it shows who our father is." Right? The problem that the Lord has is how we transact business. Right. right? right. It's, not, it's not about us transacting business. It's how we transact business. Right. When the Lord kicked over the table. 
when the Lord kicked over the money to change the table, mm-hmm. right? He was mad because man, you was basically it, you was putting this people with the same money above the Lord, right? And then he was making his house a marketplace. It wasn't about the word of God. It wasn't about people getting saved. It was that's the reason he got angry. It's, the Lord don't mind us making money. It's how we make the money. Right. Wow, and, and that is great. That is so good. Um, again, welcome those who join us. Hey, Vince, how you doing? He made he, um, he made a comment earlier. Says even as a weak individual, need to get around people to give you strength, strength to your identity. A- amen. Um, That's good, Vince. Amen. <laughs> Mary says we make money on a job. So yeah, exactly. So all uh, right, and so uh, again, um, ne- there's nothing wrong with making money as an artist, as a gospel artist. Christian artists, whatever you whatever you want to call yourself, okay, it's okay to make money. Why? Because in the professional world, you are considered an entertainer. Okay, right. that's the, that's pretty much what you are. You are an entertainer. You are singing for somebody. You're putting on a show, and there's nothing wrong with that. All right. Um, and, and again, we've always got the lifelong battle of between ministry and industry, and it's like the two can coexist, but you got to know the difference. So, right. and ministry can come out of industry. All right, but the fact is, if you're if you are getting paid to do something, you are paid as an entertainer and things like that. Go ahead, someone. I think it's something that, that you want to uh, say. My sister Holly posted a nice, uh, a, a good quote. Um, there. You know, it, there in the Bible, it talks about the priests and the musicians and them being able to earn their pay. They actually live off of the offerings that are given right. into the temple. And, and God is perfectly happy with that. You know, he gives us gifts in order to build well. Right. 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 We give gifts to God. He helps us to create well. Right. You know what I'm saying? And, and, and there's nothing wrong with that. Go ahead. He gives us gifts to, to help others, but to also to, to help us to leave, leave a generation, leave gifts to uh, the next generation to build up our homes, to, you know, to take care of our homes and families, you know, earning mm-hmm. money is not evil. It's not of the devil. It no. is of God. If earning money wasn't of God, then we wouldn't have Solomon's wealth and, and David's wealth to look back on. And, right. and, and when did we see the Lord chastise Solomon or David because of the wealth they had? Right. <laughs> He did, didn't. Did, did he, he just got them for some other things, but for he didn't some other stuff, But wealthy. it wasn't because they was wealthy. Right. When the Lord, t- I remember the Lord telling David, "Don't number the people. Don't worry about counting your money." <laughs> you right. Understand? Yeah, that's what he said. David wanted wanted to say, "I'm being kid, but don't worry. Don't count the people. Don't. I'm gonna keep money coming in. You don't have to worry about. There's people in this world right now. They got so much money. They don't know how much money they have." Right, they don't. They got accountants, but they just don't. The, the thing is, is it's how we process success in getting money. The Lord don't want us lying and cheating people. Right. The Lord right. don't want us, you know, doing double dealing and 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 and, and lying on Him scripturally to get right. money. Right? right, that's the problem that the Lord has. You know, when you're saying, "Oh, you're gonna go to hell if you don't blah blah blah," if you don't give this, you're not gonna get healed in your body, and this is. See, that's the kind of foolishness that the Lord is against. But it's about if you have a service. I don't care if you do a hair, right? If you if you if you're a believer and you're like, man, I'm a I'm a beautician and you want to open a beauty salon. How many beauticians do hair? Do you believe that they should get paid for doing hair? That that's evil. It's a service, right? That's a that's a skill that they're taking. To, it's no different than you taking your music and doing your music. You know, and you have, the labor yeah. is worthy of his wages. Yep, and in, in, in Ecclesiastes ten nineteen says money answers all things. Mm. Okay, so again, we don't worship money. It says the love of money is the root of all of evil. Of all money kinds. itself, you know, of all and it's, of not even of all, it's not even of all evil. It's of all kinds of evil. Yeah, a lot of people all do evil yep. things because of money, but money itself has no emotions. It's not good or bad. Mm. It's what we right. do with it that makes it good. Inanimate. That's it's an inanimate thing. Yes, there you go. It's right. amoral. It has no morality. It, it's not evil and it's not good. It's just a tool. 
Exactly, exactly. And, and so just like money is a tool, so are you. You are a tool for God's glory, God's okay? Glory. All, all, right. Satan, all to be used by Satan. Or, you know, and, if, and, and that boils down to your choice to be used by God or Satan because God doesn't go against, his, go against your will, all right? And so if you as an artist are, are, are doing things that are, are, that are contrary to the word of God, that it's, it's going to reflect and it's going and, and folks will will well you will be exposed and, spe and especially those who are in the industry that are trying to help these artists or or, or supposedly trying to help these artists but giving them false information but just taking the money yeah you will eventually be e exposed that's not what christ requires us to do we need to do all things with integrity right okay? there and, is um a, a good um caution that uh, let's see, Melodic put up here. He said, "Be careful. Wealth makes it harder to be focused on the will of God, and that's that's scripture as well. So, mm -hmm. and that goes back to money not being good or evil. It's completely amoral. But we right. shouldn't be, we shouldn't say get to the place where we have so much of it, or we're so focused on money that oh my God." think that yeah the money is blessing us and not god is blessing us right, right. it's basically right. god is our source creating, yeah create an idol out of your money just like people create an idol out of the sun out of the river out of you know different things because you know yeah the river gives us water but it's not our god god created the river right. and he is the right. source of that good thing in your life exactly Therefore, he is the one that gets the glory not the river the money does not get the glory god gets the glory Correct. And I like what um, Vincent says, God is against anything that becomes excessive and distracting to him. All right. Amen. So it's like that. Yeah, exactly. Anything, anything. It could be money too. Well, and again, if it is what whatever it is that's distracting, it's because you made it that. All right. And, and even even your own gift as a well gifted singer or a good a, or a good rapper could be a distraction. And and, and, now I'm gonna throw so I'm gonna pick that back on something that's even better. You not uh, having you not having money could be a big distraction because uh, that's, that's, all, that's all that, that that people that don't have enough all they think about is getting money. They can't they can't even be content and rest in Jesus yeah. having lack because that not having it can be a distraction. It could go either way of the spectrum. So not Amen. just because you got a lot of it, you don't have enough. The Bible says it, it, and uh, says, "Neither give me poverty, no. yeah, yes, yeah, yeah. nor we, riches, riches. Neither give me poverty, nor give me riches." Right. That's in Proverbs. Said, yeah, yeah. Jesus said, "Let your moderation be known to all men." Yes. Like, Let's find that. The, the Lord requires us to be in the middle. It's nothing wrong, you know. When you middle, you're stable, you're balanced. Right. You balance. know, you don't have to be. Because I always say it a lot of times on my page, and you don't always hear say you don't have to be rich. To be successful, I mean, you can make thirty thousand. You can be making thirty, thirty-five thousand dollars a year and be successful because if you don't have no debt, you don't have no bills. That thirty-five, that thirty-five thousand, like thirty-five thousand dollars, you ain't got all your cars paid for you, your house paid for you, or you don't have to pay rent. God made a way for your rent to be paid, and you getting mm -hmm. thirty-five straight cash. That's a that that you can you can be successful with thirty-five thousand. It's how you process the set, right? Amen. It's Amen. different for every person. That's so, right. And Amen. I feel like that's that's the problem with us in the church. We are ignorant to the truth. Yeah. Exactly. Exactly. Amen. Hey, this is the music industry makeover. We come on every Thursday night right here at 9 p.m. Eastern Standard Time. Thank you all so much for um, joining us and things. Um, and we have, we have some new people in here. How you doing, Johnny Flores? Thanks for so so much. Hey, hey, Jim of ChristlikeRadio.com. Yeah, Jim got yeah, Jim got got <laughs> yeah, I like what Johnny says. Keyword stewardship. Exactly. You know what I'm saying? We yes. got to we have to be steward over what God has given us. And this program, this show is being brought to you by NimbusillaPark.com. All right, as well as MikeGZMusic.com. All right, and, and you and you want to uh, definitely go and check them out. Also, this concert happening September 27th. In Winston Salem at Word of Truth International Life Church, it's a hip hop fourth annual gospel hip hop showcase. It's called Forgiven, so um, you, you want to be a part of that, okay? And I'll give you more information, but it's at Word of Truth International Life Center in Winston Salem, North Carolina. 
All right. So again, if you all got any um, questions or, or, or comments or so, like I said, I will post them on here. So uh, John, Johnny asked the question, are we working for money or is money working for us? You know, um, well, that's amen. That's a very good question. Because we are at the point where we want money. money to be working for us, not us mm -hmm. just working for money, right? Correct. Mm -hmm. Right. Right. Mm -hmm. Correct. Exactly. Exactly. Because again, yeah, we know who, how money works in this world. <laughs> who is our provider? God is our provider, not not money. All right. He 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 is our source. Money is just a resource. And that and, that, and listen, this is this is why we had this platform for you guys and girls. We want to teach you. How to live for Jesus on a, in a on the musical arena? How to make money? <coughs> how to make good decisions? Show you right. how to walk and do what you love to do, right? right. And, and, and see the Lord bless you. There's nothing wrong with you using your gift as long as you make good decisions. You're not hurting people. You're not taking advantage of people. And I think we kind of we miss that, you know. And and right. the thing the thing with Satan and what he's doing now, he's trying to blend. Good and evil, so right. you don't so you don't know what's good or what's evil. So so he can get you to a state of being void of judgment, right? You'll call mm -hmm. evil you'll call evil good, and and and, and good evil. Yeah, right. You know? hey, 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 Rico, you, you know that scripture. Um, hey, hey guys, if, whenever you get a chance, go to Proverbs thirty. All right, Proverbs thirty and um and eight through nine. Uh, says, remove far from me vanity and lies. Give me neither poverty nor riches. Feed me with food convenient for me. Verse 9, lest I be full and deny thee and say, who is the Lord? Or lest I be poor and steal and take the and take the name of my God in vain. All right? Yeah. So, 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 so listen, that right there, that's yeah. proof that the Lord wants you in the middle. Exactly. In the middle. That's right. Proverbs 30, 30 8 and 9. You, again, Hey, everything we need is is in the Word of God, and you as in the word it, of God. Amen. you as an artist, marketing and promotions. You know what I'm saying? You know, do it with integrity. That's why we do what we do with integrity. The music industry makeover, all right? Because we don't want to sensationalize something when it's really not what it is, and that's right. and it's easy to do that. Okay, it's very easy. <laughs> it is. And I think I put up, I put up a post to say like when you become an entrepreneur. Who you are is going to show up. Whether you're going to, whether you're going to be a crook or whether you're going to be a better human being. Because when you got when you got to make money, it shows who your character is. Are you willing to do anything for a dollar? Mm. Are you are you, are you willing to lie for a dollar? Mm. Right. Somebody somebody show you a nice whip to get you a Porsche, a Porsche Sport or a Porsche car, a Cayman, whatever that, whatever. Are you are you going to do people wrong just so you can have a nice whip? You know, just if you have some nice joins, like, that's up to you what you decide. And that's why we keep saying as a Christian artist, until God puts you in a place <laughs> to where you can make money with your music, man, keep a nine to five. That's why I had a nine to five for years, because if I didn't want to do something, man, I ain't did. I didn't have to do it. I wasn't pressured. And my light bill still got paid. Amen. Right? Amen. Amen. Exactly. Yes. 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 Yes, thank you so much. Uh, yeah, it, it, you know, and and also not just to the artists, but to those who are similar to us or or do the same type of service that we do. Are you taking right. artists' money and not doing all the work that you that you say that you were going to do? Going to. Okay. Yeah. Again, you know, that's again, that's not integrity. That's that's not Christ-like. All right. Mm -hmm. So, um, yeah, hey, it, 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 it character matters exactly, Mary. Character does matter. So. Uh, yes. So yes, so yeah, that was our second point. Like I said, if y'all have, have any questions or what or what have you or, or comments, uh, Mason Turner, how you doing? Welcome. Uh, says the devil is everywhere on, on earth, no matter what part. People think this existence is the most important thing, and they fall in the trap of chasing material that have no have zero meaning. They don't know what's for them after the yeah, exactly. A, a, right. Amen. Right. You know that's why we got to walk in the spirit Absolutely. and not fulfill the lust of the flesh. Absolutely. All right? Amen. Right. Right. Amen. Right. Amen. Right. Right. So, so our next topic. Uh-huh. Uh, okay. forging, forging alliances, finding the right artists to build with. Um, and you can, you know, in doing that, you can kind of create some opportunities for yourself. So, so 
So the third, so our third topic, forging alliances. Forging alliances. Forging alliances. Like finding the right people to hook up with while you're on your journey. Uh, you know, in your ministry, entrepreneurship, you know, you can't do everything by yourself. The right. Lord may bless you to have, it may be a three key, a three key pot, right? And you may only have just one key. It may be two other people that have each other key and, and, that, and that lock on that door that the Lord has mandated for you. It may take three different keys to unlock that door. Mm-hmm. And you may only just have one, you know. So sometimes we can't move forward in progress because we're selfish. We don't want to work with nobody else. We don't want to humble ourselves mm-hmm. to get to that next level. But when you're a Christian artist and you afford your alliance with other artists, y'all not in competition with each other. Don't look at it like that, right? Mm-hmm. We are always complaining about we don't have access to shows, you're waiting for other people. Because the fact about it is, if you're preaching the truth, people really not going to, if they're not truth bearers, they're not going to let you into their little realm, their little circuit, their little, their little vein. So what you have to do as a Christian artist, man, you got to create your own network. And that's what brings us to these two points. It's, these two points are very important because you can have success right now if you are not afraid to forge an alliance. Now, imagine you got a couple other artists that you break bread with. Y'all have great personality. Y'all kind of get, y'all kind of get out in the community and do things. If you got to go to a show, guess what? One of the artists got a good car. Your car may not be that great, but you can help with gas. You know, if y'all, five of y'all, for me, three of you guys put $5 in the tank. You got $15 of gas or whatever. You break your $20, put in the gas, go into your show. Or you need to rent a sound system for a great, it may cost 300 bucks to rent the sound system. Have a real nice, but each one of y'all coming up with 100 is a whole lot better than you trying to come up with three. There you go. Hey, you know, because again, successful people did not make it by themselves. That's all right. right, they didn't make it to the top. They had a team with them. Mm-hmm. All right, and so if you have a have a scarcity mentality to where I, yeah, I got to get everything, but then you're really not going to be successful, right? Right. and 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 that's going to reflect in your attitude and, e- and even in your music, unfortunately. Um, if anyone wants to see example, oh, oh, uh, watch Undercover Billionaire. Yes, exactly. Yeah, that's a very good show, Undercover Billionaire. All right, mm-hmm. so it, again, guys, uh, you know. Um, make in our and the Holy Spirit, he he designed family. You know, he he designed relationships. That's what we those relationships. Um, we are a living witness right here, standing before you all. Or so the, the music industry makeover. All right, we, we decided we forged we forged in alliance, and God is blessing us. Okay, so you as an artist, you could do the same thing, but your mindset has to change. How right. bad do you want to um, fulfill the call of God on your life? And God's going to send people to you, and hopefully that you don't reject them based on what they look like and things like that. So right, or well, what uh, they sound like, or maybe their maybe their style is different. But you right. know, when you're, when you're allied with other people, they can help you to fill in those gaps that that you have you know or or um you know build make you strong where you're weak and you're strong where they're weak you know you get together right. and you help each other out <clears throat> everybody is better for it right you know yeah. the three of us we came together we have we have different talents you know and sometimes i'm talking about something and i'm like oh I'll, you know i'll handle this and they're like they're looking at me going wow that's amazing you can do that and I'm looking at them going, wow, that's amazing. You can do that, you know? <laughs> um, exactly. We fill in the gaps where we each have, where we each are weak. And it makes us all strong together. Amen. Hey, I, I, great, great. Hey, I like what Vincent said. The best way to build an alliance is to give small tests, go out to lunch and see who's willing to pay or see if they offer. You know, check the humility. Hey, that's a good point. Mm-hmm. That's, that's very good, Vincent. Um, Jim said. Uh-huh, go ahead. 
No, no, no. Go ahead. What did Jim say? Jim says, I found out that by putting this mixtape together, God had me um, very specific with the artists that are going to be on. Some artists just think that they, they said the track is going to be on. Okay. Yeah, yeah. there's a great mixtape that's, that's definitely coming out. Um, Harry, hey, Harry, how you doing? Thanks for joining us. He says, sounds good. I look forward to hearing more in the future. Of it. Okay, all right. Okay. Okay, cool. Harry, glad to see you. Glad you came on, Harry. Awesome. Can we go back to that that comment by by Jim? He's talking about people are sending him sending him music for for this mixtape that he's doing, right? right? Mm -hmm. And artists are just saying, okay, well, you know, you accepted the song to listen to it. Then I'm expecting that it's going to be on the mixtape. I'm expecting to hear it um, when when the mixtape comes out, and I'm expecting that I'm going to be a big star, <laughs> you know, at the end of this this whole thing. But no. Um, one of my tips that I give out to artists, don't be a jerk, okay? Be nice, Amen. right? Amen. <laughs> Jim is, he's a DJ. He's running his radio show. He's doing this. He's, he's basically creating a platform for artists. Mm -hmm. He's also a human being, right? And he right. responds to people being nice, <laughs> right? And right. building a relationship with him. That's when you're, when you're building an alliance, when you're trying to, and not just with other artists, but also with people like Jim and Ron and people who have these platforms that allow you to showcase your music, they are people. They So when you build relationships with them, you're more, much more likely to actually be a part of their platform than if you just say, here, here's my music, put it on your, put it on your mixtape and then walk away and, you know, and then, or get mad if it's not there. I Man. remember like, uh, uh, there was a comment on, on some Facebook post I saw once and um, this, artist was frustrated that, you know, he was like, you know, all of these radio stations, they always play all the same artists. Nobody's giving us new people a chance. And I'm thinking, well, you know what it is? It's human nature, right? You're gonna, you're gonna give the people a chance. You're gonna play the music of the people who are your friends, right? And the ones who are your friends are the ones who have taken the time to actually have conversations With you. And, and say thank you when you did play their music. And, you know, and you, you just kind of build, you build up that relationship. So like, you know, you, you're, you maybe go out to coffee or you send them a small gift or you, you know, cause a lot of, especially these in, in internet stations, you know, they, they, it would help them to keep their stations going if you were to give donations, you know? Um, right. So, mm -hmm. you know, if you give a donation one day and the next day you, you know, you say, Hey, how's it going? Whatever you have conversation. And then when you're, when you release a single and you say, Hey, um, you know, uh, we've been chatting, chit chatting for a while. Let me, um, here's my single. Let me, let me know if you can play it. Never, oh, Hey, I know you, you're really cool. You donated money to my thing. You've been, you've been, we've been chit chatting for a while. Let me listen to your song. You're much more likely to get on the station that way than just saying dropping the song and walking away and going, well, why don't they play my music? <laughs> say it, say it. Well said, definitely. Because again, well some of you, you know, some of y'all are just straight jerks. <laughs> I mean, I'm going to just, just call a spade a spade and, and not just artists, but even some of those who are, who, who work in the industry and, yeah. and, you know, you know, attitude, you know, will take you a long way. And, and me personally, if you're an artist and you and and you act act like a jerk, I don't care how good your song is, I'm not gonna play it. Right. I mean, it is. Yeah, we we walk away from that. We don't even want to deal with people. Right. That don't even. Nah, and don't don't we, act we, we don't like, like, you know, right because right. because you've got a you know somebody has a radio station, they have to play your music. No, we're not in. No. You're not entitled to be on my station if you know if I don't like your music or I don't like your attitude. So. Right, right. Hey, well, hey, Jim. Hey, that's very unfortunate. In five years, you've yeah. gotten very little donations or so, you know. Um, but you know, again, people support what they value, and you know, again, that's where we have to find creative ways and not depend upon them or so. But right. and, you know, the same. And, yeah, yeah. Go ahead. Go ahead, Ron. Go ahead. No, Ron. no. Well, 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 I was going to add, basically, you know, um, pretty soon they're going to come knocking on your doors. They're like they'll they'll be coming knocking. On, on our doors as things start to progress and so but you just keep being consistent and, and you can't get mad when people don't give bro i no, mean you can't. i mean it's their money you know if they don't want to give it you there's nothing you can do about that that's just the, the whole idea is don't put yourself in a position to to have to depend on their donations to do anything right 
Exactly. Right. So, so, so then you can walk in a genuine manner. You know, that's what we always talk about among us. We, we are genuine, and we got other business going on. And so we take our time. The clients that we have, we take our time to determine if it's gonna be if that client's gonna be a good fit for us, and we're gonna be a good fit for them. You know, exactly. we don't. We really have made a, a decision to work with a client based on how much money they willing to pay us. Right. <laughs> right. Right. But exactly. You you can't make decisions always on money. So right. I say so I say, Jim, you know, put yourself in a position to make your money outside of what you're doing in ministry or music, so that you're not dependent on what someone gives you. Because people are fickle, you know. Right. That, yeah, that's, exactly. just, that, that's just what you know. That's just what it is. People are fickle. They may be in a great mood on Wednesday, Thursday. Man, ain't giving you nothing. Friday, right. I don't know. Saturday, I like what you do, but I don't know if I want to get Sunday. Yeah, brother, let me go ahead and bless you with this. You have to be a rubber band man. There you go. That's good. Very good. Very good. Hey, I want to say what's up to Brian Baradox. He's an artist, and I and I think he I think you um, have a radio station. Or, or or have a radio show as well too. Yeah. I like what he says about relationships and networking are important as a body. We are all con connected. However, we may not all do things the same way. So ultimately, we need to work with those of like for exactly focus and discipline. What's up, Barrett? Yes. This, 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 that's the homie. I, yeah, that's, he, he, he good people, man. What's up, Barrett? He is very good people. Yes, up there in Philadelphia. Yeah, he, he's oh, been yeah. around a long time. A Christian hip hop yeah. artist. You know, yes, back, yeah. I mean, long he been he been around about twenty years, man, doing his thing. Still, still working on his new joint, man. His new album, man, is gonna be dope, man. I had the opportunity to hear some of it, man. Dude, he's very, very talented, man. So looking looking I'm to hear great things from you, Brian. Mm -hmm. yes. Yeah, I I like what Vincent said. Consumers are short minded. Yeah, they are. But <laughs> you know what? One thing I, I do want to mention are. is. Um, a lot of times we have to, this is why I, I focus, I tell artists so much about calls to action, right? Because mm -hmm. if you don't ask, you don't get, right? Just like the Bible says. Um, mm -hmm. you ha And because people are short-minded, we have short attention spans, everybody is busy doing their own thing and living their own lives. And nobody's worried about what you, what you need and what you want, right? So you have right. to tell them. So one of the things I constantly tell artists is that every single time you put yourself out there in front of your fans, have some sort of call to action. Whatever it is that you need that you want them to do at that point, you ask them to do it, right? Otherwise, they won't know and they're going to forget, right? Um, when you see like the most successful YouTubers on YouTube, they're always telling their people, click like, subscribe to my channel. Um, right. Click this link and sign up for my free thing. You know, um, right. those are the ones that are building their that are building um, a strong following because they're reminding people, right? And a lot of times, if you tell them to do it, they'll do it. I mean, more people will do it than not. Than if you just don't mention it. If you don't mention it, people are just, they're going to watch the video and then they're going to go off and do something else, go to another video, whatever, and they're not going to they're not going to think about it. They're not going to remember. But if you say, hey, if you want me, you want to keep hearing these videos, you want to want to know when I put out the next one, click, click subscribe. Oh, let me do that. You know, mm -hmm. otherwise I would have forgotten. I would have gone on to the next video and not, not even thought about it. And, and ah. as a matter of fact, we're, we're about to do a call to call, call to action. Um, we are on Facebook music industry makeover so go and like our page all right just, just go ahead i'm typing in music industry makeover and like our page all right follow because eventually we're going to start broadcasting from there okay so um yes go and go and go and like our page i like what mary says um you have to be in front of at least 100 people for even 10 to pay attention we all know who tide is tied the um dish i mean tied the uh, washing powder the um laundry detergent and says that they still advertise exactly right they, mcdonald's too mcdonald's right? still advertise exactly. line. and baby steps you you're not trying to you can't win everybody man in a week or a month you know that's why you got to put yourself you win more people when you're genuine you when win you're genuine. more people yes. when you're not desperate right there you go you know 
you want people if you get if you get in front of a hundred people and you get one person that's, that that says you know man give me your email and y'all have a conversation you have this is a different day you have to treat your fans like you're building a very personable network right that means you reach out and you talk you have a conversation you might have a conversation on have anything to do with music. You know, you may talk. You may be talking about man, please ask these man, or or you be talking about man, or you program at the church mm-hmm. because they want to see that you're a real person, right? And so if you or if you get in front of hundred people like Mary said, and you know you take ten, ten, you no know, ten percent, eight to ten percent, generally you know kind of respond, and you may get one or two people that may be interested in what you're doing, you still won, right? <laughs> Exactly. And you just keep and you just keep doing it over and over again, but just yeah. don't be so gung ho and anxious to try to get everything done and, and you know get win everybody in, in a in a day hey, or week. What's going on, Harold? Hey, How Harold. you doing? Thanks. Amen. Exactly. Don't be anxious. As the Bible says, "Be anxious for not." Okay. Right. So, I mean, I mean, I mean, again, it, it is what it is. You know. Um, um, wow. 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 God, we are the industry music. The music industry makeover, man. I'm about to change the name and everything. So excited to have you all <laughs> on. We got used to music industry makeover. <laughs> right. So, um, yeah, we come on every um, Thursday night at 9 p.m. right here on, 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 my, on my page. And eventually we're going to um, broadcast live from the um, music industry makeover page. So go and join it on Facebook. All right. And, yes, if you join it, uh, one of us uh, will um, add you on there. Right. All right. And so... Um, Because, again, we're here. Our sole purpose is to help educate you all out there and and give you some tips for marketing and promotions. And then if you you decided that you need it and you would like to hire us, hey, we are here. If not, you you could always go go to somebody. So that that will help get you to your goals, whoever you want. Again, all right. But, um, again, we do the same thing, expecting a different result. That's all we're saying. (laughs) That's insanity. Insane mm-hmm. in the membrane, okay. <laughs> so, and, and you're gonna always hear a statement: "You gotta invest in yourself." You gotta you know, invest. In yourself. You know, and you, you know the thing is, I was reading some things about um uh the, the author Rich Dad Poor Dad. When you're entrepreneur, you have to understand you're gonna fail sometimes. Right. Failing, failing is not bad because when you fail, that's just one that's just one less way you need to figure out how to do what's wrong. Right. You know, Absolutely. You know. Right. It's how, you pro- it's, how, it's how you process it, mm-hmm. right? So after you fail so many times, we're like, man, I don't fail 20 times. Well, guess what? I got to get it right because sooner or later, I'm going to find the right way. It's a process of elimination. You don't take yeah. a, you, you taking a test and you keep missing that same course. It's four courses. Mm-hmm. And, you, and you don't took this test four times. Well, guess what? The fourth time, if you remember the last thing that you got wrong, I, you got the pass. Because you, <laughs> you know the other three wrong. So now you know it's, 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 it's reasonable deduction. Well, it got to be D because I don't let more A, B, and C. It was all wrong, so bam. Man, that's how success comes. You have yep. to keep pressing, right? Yes, and, it, and it brings us to the fourth, our fourth topic. <clears throat> Which is... Um, uh. Creating a, a, church a no, yeah, yeah, third, yeah, creating a church network that's willing to support the vision of your alliance. Hmm. Creating a church network, all right, and really, you can pretty much start with your own church, all right. And now, now I'm going to say this: every artist, every gospel artist, whatever you do, rap, sing, whatever, you sh- need to have a church home. You need to have a a church base that's pouring into you the Word of God. Uh, because as you're pouring out to as you minister and things, you need something coming in. All right. All these vagabond Christians that don't have no church home, that's 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 not healthy. Okay. Right. Nobody's pouring into you. All right. So yeah, I will say that. Yeah. Go ahead, guys. Hmm. Um, well, I mean, I I agree. I agree. I mean it's it's if you're you're starting an alliance, you know, all of the churches that are represented by that alliance should be supporting you as as a start. So right. you start there with your home church. 
and then branch out to others, you know, wherever, wherever you want to go, whatever your goal is, if you're building a tour, if you're, you know, you're building kind of a, you want to build a, a church network of places where, you know, you know, you can go you, uh, churches, you know, will support you when you have a new single coming out or you have a new album coming out or whatever. Um, you know, when you have that, that base of support, you already, you, you're going to have some momentum just to, you know, when you first start out. Wow. And, and the thing, and the thing is, I want to piggyback on, on Ron and Simone is it goes back to relationship building again, right? Mm -hmm. You, when you go in and meet people, you have to break bread. You go in and meet a pastor, you know, take time to get to know that pastor, right? Because the, what I found with Christian artists, we don't want to represent who we are. Like we, we feel like it's we, we it's like we shame to say we're from the church. Yeah, we how, are. Yeah. How how can you be a Christian artist and you don't want to go to a church? Well, I want to go outside the wall, man. Oh, <laughs> is that wrong with going outside the walls? Right? I'm not saying that. Right? That's great, but you you shouldn't neglect the walls. Right. Right. Because we are a part of the body. There are many people that those churches are pulling out of the street to come to the church, right. and they need you to come through there and share what you have because you do have a lot of unsaved people in the church. That's they, right. They, the lost sheep of Israel. So I, yeah. you know, there's a lot of talk out out there about going going outside of the church, not staying in the church, preaching outside the four walls. And, you know, I am all for that. But I really feel that if you are going to do that, you need to be solid in your faith. Right? <clears throat> Too many right. people are going outside the church walls. They want to go preach. They want to go sing and preach and whatever in bars and in clubs and bowling alleys <laughs> and whatever. Um, first of all, a bowling alley is not a great place to have a church service if you're trying to do an altar call. Right. right. <laughs> There's a time and a place for everything. A bar is not a great place for you to go if you're struggling with alcoholism. Okay? Well. <laughs> so, you know, um, you, Jesus did. He showed us an example, right? He didn't keep the message just for the people within the church, right? People, mm -hmm. the sinners who were rejected by the church, he went to them, he preached to them, and but the thing that we need to make to, to pay attention to is that he changed them. They came away from that interaction changed. Mm -hmm. Jesus remained the same. He remained rooted in his faith. He remained close to God, right? Close to his father. They came away changed. They were the ones saying, thank you for saving my life. You know, it was Mary Magdalene who was pouring spike nard on his feet and wiping her tears with her hair, you know, Mm -hmm. It wasn't the other way around. Jesus wasn't letting down his hair and wiping her feet, right? Because he was changed. No, she was changed. <laughs> right. But, so and, and, that's what we need to be. We need to be Jesus to the to and, those on the outside and not let them change us. And now, and the thing too with uh, Rico and Simone is the fact is, okay, you know, a lot of these artists say that they want to go outside of the church walls and go out right. and minister to the world. But their but their way of doing it is that they want the world to buy a ticket to come here to perform, mm -hmm. and that's kind of backwards. You know what I'm saying? Because number one, if the world doesn't like Jesus anyways, what it look like them buying a ticket to come here you rap or, or sing? You know what I'm saying? Right. So there's opportunities for you to go out there and do that if you want to do it. Matter of fact, even just going out doing a, a full clothes drive and, and um health and free health screenings or so. Right. Some Health departments show and, that you and, care. Show that you care yeah. about what they're struggling so they with. Yeah. Stop looking at trying to get paid or so you know because you're trying to get your music out there. So basically, your motives are wrong. Okay, so it, it, again, you need to change your thinking. All right, um, I'm, I'm going to go real quick to some of the comments. Um, uh, Vincent says um, he knows some public relation want want two thousand a week for information that we're giving like this mm. and things, which is wow. That's that, and and um and he is he is definitely right. Um, right. Um, um Harold says failure isn't failure if you don't become a repeat offender of that which caused you to fail in that particular area. That hey, that's good, Harold. That's, that's good. good. Uh, oh, yeah, that's failure. 
Real it, good. Mary says that's why why um when you're grounded in the, in who's in who you are, who you then are, you yeah. are led, who you are, then you are led to where to go. Yes, Amen. it's serve first. Exactly. Because that's, that's what that's what ministry is. It's serving. It's okay. Serving. That's what that's right. ministry is. It's not a paid good. And I think that also too that like artists who are some people, some artists are called to minister to the lost sheep of Israel, those who are in the church. And that's perfectly all right. If that's your calling, don't let anybody make you feel feel ashamed or feel that your calling is is uh, ben, is um, beneath them or whatever, because you are called to minister within the church. That's perfectly fine. Those now, people need to be saved too. I, I'm going to give you a perfect example. I'm going to use myself. Because I'm a music producer and I, 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 I'm in a lot of tutorials. I keep up what's going on. I listen to a lot of music. But there are some times, man, when my spirit is in a certain place, man, I can't listen to anything. Mm -hmm. And I need to pop on I need to pop on something, uh, uh, you know, uh, 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 Christian music that's, that's powerful. Words that I can relate to, I can understand that they help, they encourage me. Mm -hmm. You know what I mean? And so pe there are a lot of people, even in the house of the Lord, they don't necessarily have to be lost. It's just that sometimes because we is in a world, and this world is just so wicked, and, and, and Satan is trying to inundate everything with wickedness. With wickedness, you know what I mean. And so sometimes, right. man, you 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 have to put your hair down and, and, and debrief yourself with Christian music. I don't like cheesy Christian music. I don't like. I don't want to hear the, the Christian music, man. That has no 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 soul to it. There's no, no substance. Service, no substance. You can turn right. in and be through that and just trying to make a great song. I don't right. like that kind of music. I like. I like to hear struggle in the music because man, I've been through some struggle. Testimony. I, I make my best music after going through. Man, when I was man, look, being homeless six times, and I come back in and wow. I make tracks. And I make tracks, man. Cats like man, your music to annoy I I like man, yeah, I've been sleeping in my car, bro. You know what I'm saying? And it's heartfelt. I'm, I'm just saying everybody's different, but that's don't limit your music. Don't don't neglect the house of the Lord. Go out beyond the wall. Do all of that. But just don't get so tired to where you hate the church or, or because you had a bad encounter with someone. And you're like, man, I just don't want to be in the church. You're like, man, everybody needs what you're doing. You don't know what people are going through, man. A pastor, man, killed his wife and kids. Mm -hmm. you, you, know, you understand what I'm saying? You know, that you don't know what people are going through. We're in a world where people wear masks. There are more masks being worn in the house of God than it is out in the world. You don't know what people are going through. Right. Don't don't limit your music. Uh, your right. music can help somebody, can set somebody free Absolutely. based on your testimony. Because that's all your music is, is pretty much a testimony, all right, of what you've been yeah. through and how God brought you out. All right, that's what that, that's what ministry is right there. Um, Brian says that that's, um, that's important for all artists to know their calling by God. Okay. Yes, it is. That's it it is. is. And um, Harold says, so what did Paul mean when he said, I became all things to all men so that by all possible means I may win some? Yes, that's that's exactly what he said in, in, in his word. And yet, you have to be led by God for it's how you're trying to reach people. All right. Yeah. Um, so so let me talk about that for a second. When Paul yeah. was on the mouth and that was a monument of an unknown God. Right? right, and he was trying to strike up a conversation, you know. And sometimes, man, we can we can engage in a conversation if a person is sitting there talking about football. This is a perfect example. You may not like football, but you can you can go to a football game and break bread with that brother so that y'all right. can connect. Right, that's that's becoming all things. You're becoming a fan. You know, or, or not necessarily you becoming, you know, interested in something. Because I remember before I got saved, this one brother, his name was Martise, he's a pastor now. Martise used to come and play basketball with me all the time. He was about four or five years older than me. And I was at that part of my life where I've been in church all my life, but I really didn't know Jesus. I've been going to church my whole life, but I didn't know Jesus. But he used to come, Martise, 
used to come and play basketball with me all the time. And when we would play basketball, we are talk trying to play, but through the game, he would just be concerned, like, man, how you doing? No, but really, how you really doing? You know, and after playing ball with him, right, I, I began to open up to him, you know, and to establish friendship. And, man, he was mentoring me without me knowing he was mentoring me, mm-hmm. right? And mm-hmm. although he, he wasn't interested in playing basketball that much, he was using basketball. He used basketball at that moment to create a relationship. You know Amen. what I'm saying? So, so becoming all things, though, when you, he, what, what, that scripture is not saying that because a joke is smoking weed, you, you smoke weed too. <laughs> <laughs> It's well, that's not ministering. That's that's a stumbling block. That's helping other and, people. Man, right. and I and I kid you not. There are a lot of people that believe that right. they not smoke weed. Yeah. But you know, you, but you win if you win souls to Christ. You don't come. You don't win a soul and create another stumbling soul. Yeah. That's good. Right. You, that's good word. Exactly. you win. You win one soul, but you make two stumbles. Right, you're creating good souls for the devil in that point. At that point. You, just, you just you just compromise to win that one soul, like 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 you said, here. Okay, you won that one soul, mm-hmm. so you had it. So you so you so you smoked that weed with that brother, but two other people that God was really trying to deliver them from that weed, right, and, and trying to get them off. You just set them back, so you won one, but you just lost two. And, 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 and see. We have so many stumbling blocks in the body of Christ right now. For I mean, I don't really, really mean to bring light to this brother, but I'm sure some of y'all have already seen him on Instagram and Facebook. He, he's known as the cussing pastor and things, and uh, and so <laughs> oh, uh, you know, and so again, um, oh the thing gosh. about him is that's his brand, the cussing pastor. All right. And yeah, he will cuss you out and whatever, such and such. But again, he's preaching the word of God per se. And and, and there's something wrong with that picture. That's I that's that's not yeah. Christ. No. You know what I'm saying? You know, you know, we're supposed to be changed individual. But again, from a marketing standpoint, or so he's doing that for he's he is consistent with his brand, the cussing pastor. You know, so um <laughs> but, but I don't advise you to um follow that, okay? But <laughs> yeah, I just wanted to um bring bring that example to um to shed some light on what Rico was talking about, I think. So I think a lot um, of people are going to be surprised about who's in heaven and who's in hell. I'm just well, going to yeah. put that out there. Okay, go ahead. <laughs> you know, the thing that I, that concerns me, and I'm going to say this, man, and, and we have to be very careful about what we lead people to do. Because believe right. it or not, if you lead someone astray, you know, and they that blood fall, is on your hands. That blood right. is on your hands. Your blood is so, on your hands. So you have to, I think the problem that we're seeing right now in the body of Christ is we want to fit in so bad. Mm. We, right. we don't want to appear corny. We don't right. want to appear lame. Right. We don't want to appear square. We don't want to appear like the very gospel in itself is going to offend people. Some, exactly. people, some people are going to get offended just by you telling the truth because they don't want to hear the truth. They want to hear a lie because a, a lie keeps them in that place of comfort and sin. Yeah. It keeps them in a place they don't want to hear it. They don't want to hear what Jesus got to say. Now, I understand this is a music instrument makeover. This is not Tuesday night when we talk about the Word of God. But I want to say that this is all a part of you being a, 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 a music artist Sometimes, man, you got to have real conversations. Yeah. You know, the Lord allow you to open the door with somebody in the club. You know, it, you don't have to go to the club. Right? That's where you're coming from the club, man. Come through the house. You know, and that's a, that's such a good point. As, a, as, a, as an artist, you're on stage. The moment you step on the stage, I, you know, I heard this from a, a, a business coach. The moment you step on the stage, you are now the expert. You are, you are the star. You are the one that people look to, right? right. So if they see you, um, you know, I remember years ago, there were these uh, basketball, basketball stars talking about how, you know, they didn't want to be role models for these kids. Um, but you can't really help it. The moment you step on the stage, the moment you're in the spotlight and all the people are, all these different people are watching you, 
you're automatically a role model, right? And you're automatically, people are going to be watching you. And especially if you put yourself out there as a Christian, as someone who believes in God, who, who follows the Bible. The Christian artist. Then, right. You call yourself a Christian artist, then automatically people are going to be looking for that Christian in you. So right. you start going off and doing all kinds of crazy stuff that are totally unchristlike. It's going to cause some people to stumble. Sorry, we can't see Jesus. We can see you up on that stage, right? right. So, you know, that when sometimes they say, you know, sometimes you're the only Jesus people will ever see. That's absolutely true. So what kind of example are you going to lead? lead. And, then, and then even you, again, presenting yourself with the title, especially Christian hip hop, Christian hip hop, or Christian artist, you shouldn't be ashamed of that. If 99% of your lyrics are Christ centered, I mean, quite naturally, you're going to be labeled a Christian artist. So, yeah. you know, you wanting to do away with the title, is it just pretty much for so that you can attract money or, or use a different title like inspirational, which really inspirational can be anything. Okay. You know, again, you need to be specific in what it is that you want to put out there. And not be ashamed of the title because the world already uses as that. Right. You gotta, you gotta understand. Him, he's ashamed of you. <laughs> right. You gotta understand as a music services company, and and I always you gonna hear me keep saying it because we all got our personalities, and we got our way that we we, we kind of relate and we kind of distribute you know something to you. You know, we are for those artists that's not ashamed of Jesus. Because right. we we're, we're not gonna be doing all the tiptoeing up in here. Right. That's not. That's not the music services company that we are. We no. we don't make no we don't apologize by representing the king. We don't, we don't apologize representing Jesus. We don't apologize about representing Jesus. Like that's what we represent. Yeah. Like right. if you don't if, if you that if you know because at some point you have to make a decision hmm. because the world is getting so bad it is. And, the, and, and 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 Satan is requiring his people to make a decision. Man, look, you don't have to make a decision. You gonna serve? You gonna serve God? Or you gonna serve Mammon? Mm. Right? You say, right. choose this day who you serve. Right. You understand? Or, you know, either you with me or you against me. Mm. But it's a clear. Is you have to let your yays be yays and your nay be nay. It's <coughs> it's a clear decision on who you with. Yeah. And then and guess what? If you with Jesus, man, you probably not gonna like that. You know, mm -hmm. I was going to say when I when I, when I when I put posts up about Jesus, mm -hmm. you know, people don't respond to it. They don't want to respond to it. One day I've been making jokes because I'm I'm gonna say it quicker. I like to laugh and make jokes, but man, I get that word and I get the truth. I don't care if you like me. I don't care if you like me. God still provides people to buy for me. I'm still gonna sell insurance. I'm still gonna sell music. I'm still gonna do digital marketing service. I'm still gonna have clients at MIM. God still gonna provide somebody to man to write me a check or let me swipe that card, and I'm still gonna man pay everything that I've been paying. I'm not gonna buy that. If you don't like that, you ain't gonna like that. I'm not gonna make. I'm tired of seeing us apologize for representing Jesus. Like why? I'm not gonna apologize. Right. right? I'm gonna apologize. I love the Lord. Right. Mm -hmm. And sometimes mm -hmm. man, you have people want to see. How, how, how people want to see your walk and your tenacity, your aggressive for him. The devil right. aggressive, they try to lay hands on to you and put demons in you. Look, I'm going to keep it 100. I, I'm not looking for friends. God has already blessed me with people that I walk with people. Those that want the truth, they love me. Man, we're going to break bread. We're going to still chop it up. I'm not making an excuse. So as a, if this is a Christian music services company. Mm -hmm. And I realize that when people see this, when people see this, they're gonna get upset because they're like, "Well, why you alienate other people?" It's not about that, man, bro. I'm tired of seeing brothers and sisters in Christ give up and get discouraged with their gifts and their talents, and they feel like they can't do nothing, and they and they right. always are depressed because they don't believe that they can go forward. This is what it's for. We want to show you how you can be successful <laughs> without compromise. Yeah. That's right. Yeah. That's right. Yeah, very loud. Yeah, he is. <laughs> hey, hey, hear that? Um, hey, Angela, how you doing? Thank you so much for joining us. And um, yes, yes, we're trying to set a standard here. Um, we we are the music That's industry right. makeover. We come on every Thursday night right here at nine p.m. Okay, and again, we want to give you um, tips on marketing and promotions. And if you're interested in our services, make sure you go 
check out the website, all right? Again, musicindustrymakeover.com, because that's because that's that's what we're here for, and we want to see you succeed out there. But um, yeah, it, it's um, man, um, there was a point I wanted to to to, to make too. Um, for us, um, um, of course, as, as a Christian artist, whatever you know. Oh no, yeah, promoters. Mm-hmm. All right, you know, if you are if you are a promoter and you are a, a, a shame to 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 promote a gospel concert us with the name even even christian hip-hop you know putting the name on there then really you just need just to go ahead on and, and promote regular concerts or, or mainstream concerts all right because again i mean what is the point if you are telling them all right this is a hip-hop concert but the content is all gospel well then you basically are deceiving people pretty much all right so no just just be straight up with what kind of a content that you are promoting all right we we work with christian artists gospel artists no secular artists. No, we are about promoting the kingdom. That's our ultimate agenda. And we want to encourage those who have this gift to, hey, here's a platform for you that we want to push you out there. And yes, you can make money with this too. And right. you know, and so, just from a, a business standpoint, when you niche down, you pick you pick a particular audience. It's so much easier to have conversations with that audience, to to right. um, to speak to that audience rather than if you're just generalizing, right? So yeah. I can, um, there's, a, there's a, a guy, a marketer that I like to listen to. He likes to say the riches are in the niches. When you niche down and you speak to a particular artist, people can hear, hear themselves in what you're talking about. Then they can say, oh, well then you're, well, then you're my person, right? You and I are, are alike, so let me follow you, right? I'm not going to go out there and I've, I've had artists who are disappointed and like, oh, you don't work with secular artists. No, I don't. I'm sorry. I can't work with you. You know, um, yeah, you can maybe take nuggets from from what I post and what I put out there. Sure. But as mm-hmm. a client, no, I'm sorry, um, because I, I only want to promote music that promotes the kingdom. Right. So. Um, exactly. But yeah, from a business standpoint. From a business standpoint, the riches are in the niches. When you when you niche down and you talk to a particular group of people, those people will hear themselves in your talk. It's about your branding, right? They will hear themselves in your message and follow you. Otherwise, it's just confusing. Oh well, then you're just for everybody. I don't. I'm not everybody. I want to be everybody. We're not in that. We're not in that day and age where everybody wants to just be in the middle, right? People want to be on the edges. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, we we, we, we don't decided who we with, man. That's like that's not what you know. And that's the thing that through the years, man, the Lord dealt with me on. You know, because every producer, man, you always see a lot of opportunities. And I had to get to that point in my life to say, you know what? I want to be with Jesus, man. Whatever's gonna come with that, and understand, I'm a loner. So I don't really connect with people like that. So it's very easy for me. And a long time the Lord delivered me from being a people pleaser. And, and when right. the Lord delivered me from being a people pleaser, man, it helped me to serve him better. Because, man, I don't really care. I, I, I'm not saying that I'm arrogant. You know, uh, I may be an overconfident, right? But I'm, and, and I might be a little arrogant. Because arrogance is nothing but confidence. And we, the people that we, we, we don't like and we're saying confidence. It's arrogant. We do like when we say confidence, but the whole idea is, is you have to decide because the world is getting darker. You can't. You got to stop tiptoeing. You know. You yeah. got to understand your fan base is a niche. Your, and, your and riches personal, are in the niches. Riches <laughs> are in the niches. You don't need yeah, like a thousand. You don't you need, need a thousand. We, we will put that on a t-shirt, right? Yeah, yeah. Hey, riches, hey, you riches are in the niches. Right? <laughs> you don't need but a thousand people to support what you're doing a year. You need a, a hundred, a, a thousand people give a hundred dollars a year. You're making a hundred thousand dollars a year off a thousand there people. Go. There There's riches in the niches, and then we keep saying it again. Niches. You niches don't need, niches. you don't need ten thousand fans. Yeah. What a thousand fans. Can keep you doing your music and keep you off a job as an employee, keep you as an entrepreneur, keep you taking right. care of your family. That's a niche. Yeah. That's a niche. Exactly. And it's, it's really about finding those people. Um, we talk a lot about a lot about uh, demographics, right? You know, 
who 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 is following you? Who's paying attention to you? Are they male? Are they female? Are they short? Are they tall? Are they black? Are they white? Are they? But I heard I heard a marketer this week talk about we should be paying more attention to psychographics. Do they believe what you believe? Mm -hmm. Do they whether they're white or black? Right? You may be a black guy who is out there doing your your CHH thing on the stage, but people who are following you, they believe what you believe, right? They believe your lyrics. They like what you have, they like what you have to say. They could be white, they could be black, they could be old, they could be young, they could be short and tall, you know? <laughs> they may right. not look like you, but they believe what you believe. That is now your audience, right? So exactly. that's and that's so important. And that those people who believe what you believe and they like what you have to say in the way that you say it, right? Because that's your brand, you your unique spin the on things. You say the way mm -hmm. you say things, you know, you gather those thousand people, that is your your strong fan base who who will go with you to the ends of the earth. Somebody says something bad about you in the press, oh, they are coming to your rescue, right? Yep. <laughs> They're defending yep. you to, to the ends of the earth, right? You exactly. those are the thousand people that you want. That that little niche, that little corner of the world, those mm -hmm. those are the people you want. Um, if you have any questions or comments, feel free to go ahead and type them. All right. Um, make, make sure you type them on my page. All right. Okay. So that um, so that I could read them. But yes, you know we're here for you. We have a fifteen minutes of things. You know we want to take your comments or, or questions. We thank everyone who has joined us so th thus far. This has definitely been a great show and. Again, the music yeah, industry yeah. makeover.com. That's our website. We come on every Thursday night, right at the, at nine o'clock p.m. Eastern Standard Time. Okay, and we give you nuggets just like this or so because we want to see you be successful and take whatever nuggets that you can or so and and move on to the next level. And again, if you like to hire us, hey, we would love to work with you. Okay, and uh, we thank God for the clients that we do have right now, and 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 um, we're going to give our all our best because. Um, because they believed in us, and so they're going to see see the see the results, and God gets all the glory. Amen. Yeah. Um, I, I want to um, add to what you're saying about for us, um, you know, you know, having those fans, Simone, for us with um, um, I, I, you know, you know, think about what's going on right now with that with the chicken or so, you know, Popeye's chicken, you mm. know, chick, you know, Chick Fil A, folks are 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 defending oh, Chick Fil A. Chick -fil -A, Chick -fil -A huh? McDonald's chicken said exactly, you know, <laughs> because because again, they are fans. They yeah. they have, you know, um, I mean, that's it's just basically how business is. They have lo they have a loyal fan base, that's and that's true. what you, as an artist, you want to build that loyal fan base that will support you, you no know, no matter what. Because and guess what? Those 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 fans of Popeyes or fans of Chick Fil A, look, Popeyes uh, selling out. Popeyes are selling out chicken sandwiches. Because people yes, are yes, going yes. in to buy chicken sandwiches there so they can give their take on is it better than the Chick fil A sandwiches? Exactly. So that, that's exactly. how your fans will lock will hold you down. Right? Right. 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 Even even too that like there there are some brands who, who have such a loyal a loyal following. Um I've heard like some people complain about about iPhones, about how they're super expensive, they break so easily, you know, it doesn't do this, it doesn't do that. But then you have other people, it doesn't matter about any of that. They, when, like they, when they need a phone, they need like a, they will buy an iPhone, right? That's right. It's iPhone or nothing. <laughs> That's <laughs> right? me. That's me. Exactly. Me, I hate Walmart. Walmart may be cheaper. It may oh. have exactly what I need, but I'm not going in there. I like Target. Don't diss, don't diss my store, bro. <laughs> don't diss my I store. Do I live, I I live in Walmart. I got, I got groceries in Walmart. I <laughs> was buy a deal. I tried Walmart groceries. It wasn't happening. <laughs> it wasn't happening. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I, hey, hey, I got no problem with Walmart now. Nah, well, I mean, hey, but I might go to Target. Well, no, no, you're a Target. Oh, I'm a Target fan, through and through. I'm on the show just in Walmart, man. What's wrong with you? <laughs> <laughs> we gotta have a sidebar. What is show? Oh. <laughs> <laughs> so yeah, guys, again, we, you know, we, we're here for you. The show is being brought to you by Nimbus Apartment, as well as. The music industry makeover.com and Mike Jeezy Music 
dot com. All right. And, and if you're interested and wanted to um, be a sponsor or so, uh, make make sure you um, contact us, okay? Because um, um, yeah, and, and we'll let you know how you do that. So you know, and we're gonna how- be we, and we're gonna be putting the picture on the cap, you know, for those people that actually you know the mask about giving and stuff like that, give baby to whatever you want. One if you want to want to support, we're gonna be doing some other things. We're also gonna be bringing conferences to your city, right? Right, right. Um, conferences, music industry makeover conferences. Yes, and uh, yes, we, yes, we're gonna be bringing them to your city as well as um, we we're gonna be starting uh, starting a newsletter, a a um, a monthly newsletter. All right. Yeah. So we're gonna, we're gonna bring some real workshops, man. With real, real workshops. Complicated information, <laughs> information that you can use, man. <laughs> That's it. That's it. Real, hey, real, real, real information. Okay. And again, nothing against any of the other conferences or things. I mean, there's thousands of them out there, and they are, and they are good. But yeah. again, we're we're focusing on our niche. Right. Okay. We, yeah, we, and we're 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 not necessarily interested in those artists who are uh, just really in it to win awards or just trying right. to to um. We're not in no, we're not just in. trying to be famous. We're really we're interested not. in helping those artists who are ministers of the gospel who want to, to to impact their niche, their fan base, right? So we want to help them to build that fan base and to make a healthy income <laughs> from, you know, That's from it. their ministry. Right, right, so, exactly. So again, we're not worried about you trying to be a superstar, whatever, or, or trying to win all these awards. No, we'll this is not the conference for you. No, no, and we're not going. And we're not going to be giving out no awards. We ain't giving. We're not, <laughs> and we ain't doing no contest. We ain't doing no contest. No, uh, no, uh, no. Exactly. No, we're giving you information. We give you teaching, right. learning. Okay, right. and um, those are the arts that we want. Right, right. So, uh, okay. Well, yes. Um, again, um, anybody have, have have any questions, comments, or so? Like I said, we 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 are here for you. And uh, we do this every Thursday night. We give God praise for it. And, and thank you for those who have been rocking with us for a while. Um, thank you so much. Um, uh, Harold Johnson, I mean, Jackson says, we as artists have to believe that what we're presenting to an audience is so valuable that you would have no choice but to buy into the ministry of Christ. Exactly. Amen. 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 Good word, Harold. Good word. Very good word, Harold. Yes, you know. And, and again, just do your best so, so so that so that you can attract those people to want to. You, you, you know what? I like what you're doing. Matter of fact, that's how Jesus was. All right, Jesus didn't charge for ministry. Folks gave to his ministry. Why? Because they believed and 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 he convinced them. They saw his work. Man, he okay. wasn't asking every five minutes, man. man. He wasn't asking every five. No, uh, uh-uh. no. Oh, life cats always asking, asking, asking for money. As well, you know what so. he was Can doing? He was changing lives, and so people gave out of a grateful heart. You so know, if, you change my life. Yes, I'm going to give you money. <laughs> if people see what you're offering this variable, yeah, they will offer you money. They don't have to. If you're not going to have to ask them to give, they'll be asking you, "Oh, I ain't seen nothing about donations, bro. Where your donations, brother? That, bro? There they you gonna, go. They're going to want to give to you. Focus on providing value to." Your listeners, mm-hmm. and if, if you, you mean, provide, go ahead. Uh, no, go ahead. Go ahead. Finish your statement. If you provide value to your listeners, you will reap a return because they will buy into the cycle. What is the cycle? Uh, 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 what cy- cycle analysis? Psycho psycho analytics. Psycho analytics. Psycho graphics. They will have bought into your cycle graphics. Because what do they believe? They believe in the same thing you believe in. You believe in that you got something great and valuable to offer, then your fans and your listeners start believing that you are offering them something great, and they receive it, and they want to buy it. You sell a, t- you sell a T-shirt, they buy it. You sell a hat, they buy it. You sell a bracelet, they buy it. You sell a dog on notebooks, man, they buy it. You sell a- anything, they're buying it because it's you. you. Because of you. They're buying into you. If you're making great music and they love it, yes, they're they're going to buy because good music sells by itself. Okay, yeah. mm-hmm. good music sells by itself. It is what it is. All right, but um, yes, yes, you are the brand that they are buying into. So just just keep that 
you know, saying to heart, you know, saying you are the brand. And and again, not just only through music, but through other things. So, so well, hey, yeah, Mary says, when you show Christ in you, people see your light. Exactly. Yeah. All right. Okay. So, uh, all right. Well, all right. Well, guys, well, we thank you all so much for allowing us to be a part of your Thursday night. Again, um, make sure if you have not done so, go to Music Industry Makeover page on Facebook. Go in um, and request to join the, the uh, group. All right. We would love we would love to have you a, a part of us. All right. And then if you are interested or so want to check out our services, go to the Music Industry Makeover dot com. Music Industry Makeover dot dot com and, and go and, and, ch and check it out. Um, Again, you know, for, for, for some for some artists, this may not be for you, okay? And that's fine because again, not every artist is our client. All right. And and so we, we've come to accept that. And you have to realize not everybody's gonna like your music either. Right. But that's just how life it goes. All right. Uh go ahead, Simone. Anything you wanna say? Um, just keep pushing on. You know, if you have if you are called by God to to minister in music, we are here to help you. Um, you know, if, if you're stuck, give us a call, send us an inbox us, you know, let us with a question. We're here to help you. That's all I want to say. Go to the website. And let Thank us know how, how you are. You doing. Yes. Yes. Rico. Hey. Well, hey, what you want to say? We appreciate the time. We surely don't uh, take you for granted. We don't take the time for granted. We do want you to learn. You know, this is why we're here on this platform. We want to try to educate you. To help you be successful, you know, it's not about you winning a hundred thousand people. You know, a thousand a thousand fans are just waiting on you, but you gotta set up the process, set up your business model, and that's what we're there to help you achieve that. And we, we thank you for, for tuning in with us every Thursday thank nine o'clock. Yes. Hey, yes, thank you, Mary, thank you, Harold, all of you all, every one of y'all, Vincent. I mean, um, yes. Again, thank y'all so much. All right. You all be blessed out there. Continue to pray for us as we pray for you all. Okay. And um, and, re and remember, you matter in the kingdom of God. So don't compare yourself to anybody else or your ministry. Just do what God has called you to do. And you'll be just fine. Okay. All right. So uh, blessings, y'all. Hey, have a, have a great weekend. And, uh, and Wonderful weekend. And, uh, see you next Thursday. See you next Thursday. All right. God bless you.